Miss Danielle here and I have a word for you. God is working on you. Yes, some of us, we are confused about what's next in our life. We're confused about why we haven't got the blessings that we feel like we deserve. So look, the verse for this video is Philippians 2.13 and it reads, For God is working in you, giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases him. The Most High God wants to work through you. He wants his will to be completed in your life. Some of us, we want to do what we want to do. In order for God to work in you and through you and through your life, you have to first obey him. When you obey him, this may require you to let things go that no longer serve you. The definition for obey is comply with the command direction or request of a person or a law submit to the authority of the example is i will always obey my father so the most high god wants you to hear him first some of us we can't hear him because we're too busy listening to the world the world is the world satan has control over the world of course god has control over the world but the act of being worldly and the worldliness of things, the secular things, the carnal things, those are things that uh, Satan controls. The Most High God wants you to get away from worldly things, get away from worldly people, let go of worldly ways. There's some of us we have began to just be what society says we are. We listen to celebrities, we listen to politics we listen to our friends we listen to social media we listen to these things and then we wonder why we are always sad why we are always depressed why we never have any peace it's because you're not in connection with the most high god once you begin to you know like i said take up your cross and let go of yourself and the flesh begins to die then you will get to experience peace. Then you will get to experience God. Then you will get to experience all of the blessing and all of the things that he's always had for you. But first, you have to make that choice to let go of the world. Now, this other part, as far as, you know, submitting to the authority of the definition of the word obey. God wants you to submit to him. Once you submit to him. It's all about what he wants. It's no longer about what you want. And in order for you to know what he wants for you, again, you have to be listening to him. You have to be in his word. You have to be in connection with other believers. You have to be under the authority of a great pastor, somebody who actually preaches the word of God, believes in God, and their life aligns with that. Like I talked about in my previous video, there are many false prophets who have gone out into the world. I remember I was reading in the book of Ezekiel the other day, there was a prophet that they they had began to prophesy to the children of Israel. And he told Ezekiel to go tell this prophet that I have not sent them. And he wanted the prophet to stop prophesying because he was not sent by the Most High God. There's so many people who think they're prophets. I also, I'm still in the book of Ezekiel. I was reading the other day, there was someone in there who... They had a God-like mentality. They said they were God. God told this person that you are not God, but because you think you are, I'm going to punish you like you are God. There's so many people who have this God-like complex. They think they're Lord. They call themselves Yah. They call themselves this. They call themselves that. The Lord will punish these people because, again, they're not acting in his will for their lives. They're All they're doing is confusing everybody else. So it's important that you get around people who you know are sent by God. And how do you do this? You look at their fruit. A good tree can only bear good fruit. A godly tree can only bear godly fruit. You have to look at people's lives and what they've done, who they've helped. Get to understand them, get to know them. Also, it says because, you know, God is trying to work in you and through you, you have to let go of things. You have to let go of the relationships that you know are not sent by God. Many times God will send us signs about a person, place, or thing, and we see it clearly, we hear it clearly. It is being said over and over and over again, and we're not listening, we're not taking heed. And all we're doing is causing a delay in the blessings that God wants to have and to give us in our lives. 
So it's important that you let go of relationships not meant for you. Let go of friendships not meant for you. There's a lot of us, we have friends that we're around. And our friends are of the world. They do wicked things. They indulge in the works of the flesh. They are drunkards. They are cursers. They're whoremongers. They lie around all day. They're lazy. They're not diligent. They don't even care for God. They don't want to know God. They don't live a godly type of life. There are consequences to constantly staying around people like this. It says that God's word says that bad character corrupts good morals. Bad company corrupts good character. It's important that you cut off these ties with these things and these people because they are poisonous to your life. They're poison. They're just ultimately going to bring you down. They're going to snatch your blessing away from you. You'll never get to experience the life or the dream that God has really bestowed on your life. So it's important that you let go of these people that are hindering you and hindering your growth. They don't want to grow. And, you know, you can take a horse to the river, but you cannot make them drink. There's some of us, we have a heart of love. We have a heart to give to others. We have a heart to help others. But a person can only take so much help if they don't want to help themselves. So if you've given a person an opportunity to better themselves and they're just, you know, taking that for granted, they don't want to grow, they don't want to change, they don't want to develop, they don't want to get to where they're supposed to be as well, then you've done all you can do for them. And it's time to, you know, uh, love those people from a distance. Like I said, people have to help themselves. Also in this verse, Philippians 2, 13, it reads that God wants to give you the desire for him. Some of us, we may not understand, like, why are we having a desire to, you know, draw near to God? We're having a desire to listen to gospel music. We're having a desire to listen to God's word. We're having a desire to go back to church. We're having a desire to do all of these things. God wants to work in you. He begins to give you a desire for him. You may not understand it. It may be like you're different from everybody around you because, like I said, the world is worldly. The world focuses on worldly things. God may be trying to give you a desire for him again. He wants to light that fire back up in you. And it's important that you let him do that. You're going to be different. You're not going to be like everybody else. You're going to stand out. People may begin to, you know, side eye you and not understand. Why are you a Jesus fanatic? Why are you on fire for the Lord now? It don't matter what they think. Disregard anything that they say about you. That isn't, you know, positive and uplifting. Focus on the Most High God because he's trying to ignite that fire in you again. Also, God wants to give you the power to do what pleases him. Like I spoke in the beginning of this video, obeying God is so important. Because if you do not obey God, if you do not listen to him, if you do not do what he tells you to do, you may be hurting yourself. You may be hurting others. You never know how God wants to use you. He may want to use you as someone who you know speaks to the people speaks to the nations he may want to use you as a a vessel you know someone that he can use he, god always wants people that he can use because that's how god works god works through spirit spirit is in people everybody has a spirit in them i remember when i was younger i went to a, a funeral and it was my friend who passed away we were young we were like 19 he passed away i remember the preacher at the church said that you know, this is still your friend. This is still the person you knew and loved. He's still him, but his spirit has left his body. And I just remember, you know, seeing his body in that casket with no life in it. And it was just so crazy to me because like he said, this was our friend. This was someone's son. This was someone's brother. This was someone's boyfriend. This was somebody's cousin you know what i'm saying this was a person that we all knew and loved and we we didn't expect this person to die it was like unexpected but the way the pastor explained that to us is us being kids because there were so many teenagers at the funeral he said that you know his spirit has come out of his body he's still him he's still who he is but his spirit has left his body god is spirit he works through our bodies he works through his spirit so it's important again that you allow the most high god to work in you you allow his will to come to fullness in your life. It's important that you let him give you that power to do what pleases him. And we all know what pleases God. Righteousness pleases the most high God. Things that are right, things that are of him, things that exemplify the fruits of the spirit. Love, peace, patience, joy, forbearance. 
you know, all of these things, these are things that please God. And if you really want to know what pleases God, get into his word because he always talks about what does and what doesn't. He always talks about what will come of the righteous and what will come of the wicked. And you always want to be in good standing with the most high God because you never know when your last day will be. Because like I said again in another video before, we all have an expiration time. There will come a time where your life will end. Yes, you may have been here for 100 years. Yes, you may have been here for 50 years, 40 years, 30 years, 20 years. But you never know when your last day will be. So it's important that you do these things now. Do these things today. Get in alignment with the Most High God. Get into connection with Him. Get into connection with other people who believe in Him. And begin to allow Him to work through you and work in you. And also, again, do this in full submission. Submit your whole life to the Most High God. So look. I pray that this video blessed you. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you next time.